All right, let's solve this triangle. There's a few ways I could solve this triangle. Uh, notice that I want to find x, so they're asking me what is x equal right here. Um, one way you could solve this triangle is by setting up a system of equations. Oh, I'm sorry, we have one more piece of information that we know. Uh, we know that this distance down here is 320. The distance of that right there is 320. Do that. So I could do this, and I, could, I can think of three ways to do this problem. And I'm only going to show you one way. If you know the law of sines, you could use the law of sines to determine... Um, this distance right here, let's call that distance y, and then you could use this right triangle over here, the small right triangle, to find x, and since you know the, uh, the angles of that triangle. That's one way you could do it. The other way you could do it um, is by setting up a system of equations. If you wanted to set up a system of equations, you could set one up um, by using tangents and, and so forth, and I showed that in a different video, which you may or may not have seen, but the, probably the easiest way to do this is to recognize that this angle right here, because this is 60, because the one supplementary to it is 60, that angle right there has got to be 120 degrees, and since that's 120 and that's 30, this one over here has to be 30 degrees, and since these are this is a 30-30. Since that's an isosceles triangle, basically, you know that this side over here is equal to this side right here. So that triangle, I'll pull that triangle out, that smaller right triangle right there is 320 is the length of your hypotenuse, 60 degrees is here, and to find x, um, I can use right triangle trig. In fact, I can be even more witty about this or tricky about this. If you remember your 30, 60, 90 triangle, the relationship between those, if you have the biggest side, which is across from the biggest angle, 320 is my biggest side. Half of that, which is 160, is right here, across from the smallest angle. And to find this one, I multiply the smallest side by square root of 3. So 160 square root of 3 is what x equals. That would be the easiest way to do that problem if you remember all that stuff. Not the only way, but the easiest way.